International Court has acquitted former Catalan police chief Josep Lluís Trapero and the former Interior Ministry officials during the 2017 independence referendum. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Accused of sedition by prosecutors and facing a prison sentence of 10 years, the former Mossos de Squadra chief, Trapero, was cleared of all charges, as were the three other defendants. With one dissenting opinion, judges ruled that the Catalan police did not collude with the government in the 2017 referendum. La pregunta és obvia, què hi fa el conseller Forn a la presó? Què hi fan els presos polítics a la presó quan s'està desmuntant la causa general contra l'independentisme? The countdown to the next Catalan election has begun. The Parliament Speaker confirmed today that no candidate gathered enough votes to become president after pro-independence parties ruled out replacing the ousted Quim Torra. Their aim is to surpass 50% of the votes in the upcoming election on February 14th, but unionists will also have their say. Están pensando siempre en la mitad del pobla, de la población y nosotros decimos el futuro no está escrito. La mayor parte de los catalanes nos sentimos tan catalanes como españoles y europeos. The Spanish Congress debated today on a vote of no confidence tabled by the far-right Fox Party, which called Pedro Sánchez's left-wing government illegitimate and worse than the Franco dictatorship. No le interesa la libertad de los ciudadanos. Lo que le interesa es la homogeneidad cultural de la sociedad y la supresión de cualquier diferencia. Rapid coronavirus tests are now available in Catalonia, with results in 20 minutes compared with one or two days for PCR tests. The poet Enrique Casases received one of the most prestigious awards in Catalan literature yesterday. In a ceremony at Palau de la Musica, he recited some of his verses accompanied by music.